Hey everyone! I know, just had a killer workout. Just kidding, I just got out of the shower, so kind of look crazy. Anyway, hey guys, I'm just here to update you with everything that's going on with me. So, um, yeah, okay, let's get to it. Um, I've been doing back in the insanity groove for the past full two weeks now. This is my third week back in it. And actually my mom's doing it with me now, so yeah, we've been doing it out here in the living room and it's been good. Um, and then <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but like before that, I was taking care of my um, oldest sister's kids, so my two nieces and my nephew, by myself here while they're hurt, while everyone else is gone. But anyway, I took care of them for like over a week, like 10 days. And I mean, it was, you know, it was just a setback because I <laughs> ate a bunch of crap, you know, when kids are around. I just, after that, I just have to say to any parents that are like, living a healthy lifestyle and working out every day, you are, like, amazing because I, yeah, it was definitely a learning experience. I did get in some exercise, but I was so ready. I was so ready to get back into the groove of, like, eating really clean and working out every day. So, yeah, it's been good to jump back in. Um... And yesterday, me and the girls, the other Healthy Happy Fitness girls, kind of were talking about, well, Daryl started Insanity, so she was saying, um, like in the Insanity Nutrition Guide, it has you do like your BMR and then add in your activity and everything and then like adjust it to if you want to lose, maintain, or gain muscle. And she was just saying, like, that's so many calories. I don't think I can eat that much. And so we were just talking about it. And, um, you know, I told her, like, last summer when I started, well, I attempted insanity. I did month one and a little bit of month two, like maybe three days a month two. But... Okay, last summer I was like crazy, okay? Just listen to this. And if this sounds like you, you might want to rethink your strategy. I was opening up I was opening up my th my little videos. I opened up like three videos, three to four videos a day. One was the Antony video, then was um a Jillian Michaels 30 day shred and then either one or two um, 10 minute trainers those are just like with Tony Horton who does the P90X videos and I was doing all that plus swimming okay and I was hardly eating anything okay it was not good and I'm just like oh my gosh why but you know it's a process. It's a it's a definite learning experience. And but man <laughs> man that was dumb. So anyway, yesterday when we were talking about this, I decided to go back with the weight that I am now and recalculate what what I should be eating to lose. And Okay, to lose weight, doing insanity. I need to be eating 2,100 calories. And I just like, it just opened my eyes because I don't count calories anymore. I just found, you know, I just get too hung up on it. And if you're like that, just try not to because it gets too unhealthy. But I mean, I just know like that I'm not eating that much. And I'm also doing other things now, you know, when, when it gets to be summer, you know, I started swimming with my sister, like swimming laps, like for actual exercise, not just relaxation. And, you know, other stuff too. And I just, I just know that, like, I'm probably not even hitting 1800. 
like on a daily basis recently so it was just an eye opener like yeah <laughs> I'm, I definitely need to eat more and I've actually had experience with that before like you know you think you're eating like too much and some it's it's just all in the weight loss mindset you know people just naturally think to lose weight you should work really hard and limit what you eat but you know I've <laughs> I've run the mill I've tested the theory and you know in my experience the times when I've like the weeks when I've like felt oh man like I really ate a lot I step on the scale Monday morning and that's when I lose the most you know um yeah, working hard is great, but you need you really need to fuel your body to actually change it. So it was just an eye opener and so I'm I'm definitely uh trying to eat more now. And yeah. Um as far as my battle of the sexes challenge, I don't know if you guys remember me talking about that, but it's like a weight loss competition with my boyfriend. Um I'm losing so far. <laughs> I've lost I I've lost about five pounds total so far and he's lost nine, so yeah, it's lacking, but you know, I'm just it's it's the third month. There'll be this month and then the next month and then that'll be the end. So I'm just sticking with the just do it attitude, just doing my workouts, just eating right and get results man that's what I'm doing so I'm not giving up hope I'm staying determined which is good and also I just want to say I'm really excited for my second oldest sister she has been trying to lose weight and get fit for like way longer than I have she's struggled with being overweight her whole life and she finally broke into the 140s and that's what I'm trying to do right now. I've been stuck at the bottom of the 150s for a while. And I'm just proud of her for sticking with it. And, you know, because it's hard after, after you've lost, you know, like, so much. The last 20 pounds are nothing like the first. And it's hard to come to terms with that. But I think I finally have. And I'm just, I'm just doing I think that that attitude really helps at this point anyway. So, yeah, I'm proud of her, and I hope I can catch up <laughs> soon. So I will talk to you guys again in a couple more weeks. So I hope everyone's having a great week and doing good and attacking your goals. So stay healthy, stay happy, stay fit, and I'll see you guys in, in Later-ish, okay?